I wanted just to show briefly what the possibilities of the chat feature are uh, since we released this feature yesterday. So um, yeah, I will just share my screen for a moment. So, um, well, this is uh, our new feature. It's uh, integration with Comet Chat, which is a, chat, a provider for basically for chats, right? So um, this will unlock a few new use cases for, for many apps. And uh, mostly how it works is you need to create a, an account on Comet Set. They do have their, their own pricing plans. Uh, they offer a free tier with up to 25 users, which hopefully is, um, is good enough, at least for, for the MVP stage of your app. And, I, just, uh, yeah. well, I think it's 25 monthly users. So actually, you could have more okay. users, but it's only, I think it's, they look at active usage, I think. So it, it, it can be a bit better than yeah, just 25 makes sense. total. Okay, yeah, well, that's, that's even better then. <laughs> okay, so, so well, that basically that's uh, what you need to, to do, create a, an account in CommonSet, and then you need to create a Firebase project uh, because that's going to be needed to create the, um, well, the whole connection. And also you need to authenticate in order to be, to use this, this feature because Bravo handles the user IDs in a way that, uh, yeah, you need to create a Firebase uh, project and authenticate with Firebase to use the feature. So once you have the, the account, basically the two use cases um, we provide for now are the following ones. One of them would be uh, having a sort of admin and client support chat in a way that an admin can have a an application to handle several chats, and then its customer can have one application to communicate with it, this uh, admin or let's say main um, user, right? So uh, how this would look like would be an, an admin application with all the chats, and then all the individual customers individually talking to to the admin. So it, one use case for this would could be, for instance, a shop where the shop owner has the admin application and then all the shop customers that could message the the shop owner to ask for whatever like any kind of support or any requests or anything so this would be the first use case and the second one would be a having a group chat so how this would work is you could have for instance an application for an event where it's um attendee for the event would need to have the uh, an account and then inside this application you could have a group chat um so basically you would need to create first a group in in the comet chat uh platform and then you can well you need to do a sort of like a setup that is explained here in the documentation and then you would have a group chat inside your application. So that would enable the users who have logged in to chat with each other in a group sort of, of chat. So uh, these are like uh, two main use cases we thought of. Uh, of course, like you could apply group chat to many more app cases than this event app, but that's, this could be an option. And now I will just briefly show you how the actual UI of the of the chat looks like. So. Just one second so I can share my phone. Um, okay. There we go. So, uh, well, this would be the UI of, of the, in this case, the group chat. And basically, as you can see, there are several users created here. There are some people who share their, their location. And then you could even like have a look at the, all the users right here. So um, it's kind of like an interface similar to well known messaging applications. So, so yeah, and basically this would be a whole, uh, I, I can, I mean, I actually share the Figma file to, so you can see how to set it up. 
Um, so this would be basically the setup you would need. As you can see, it's just a blank screen, and then you need to set the according uh, tag. In this case, would be for for the group chat. You need to indicate here the ID of the group you created in in the platform, and then this would become one of like a, an interface like the one you just uh, saw in in the phone. So so that's. Yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully, this would be a feature that many users can benefit from. And uh, happy to hear also for from yeah your, your feedback and to hear from all your all the use cases you can build with with this.